Hello everyone. Thank you for coming. And uh, uh, especially thanks to the uh, Bong uh, guys and uh, give me the opportunity here and uh, give, uh, uh, give you the, this representation. Uh, uh, first of all, a uh, few words about the speakers. Uh, my name is Murphy, and uh, I'm a senior researcher at, uh, of the Yunding Lab. And uh, my co-speaker is Quan Shi. He is the director of threat intelligence of the Yunding Lab. Uh, the introduction of my team, Yunding Lab, uh, is the, uh, one of the seven uh, Tencent Security Lab M3. We pay attention to the construction of the Tencent Cloud Security System, focus on the offensive and the defensive research and the security operation of the cloud network environment, and build the cloud security products based on cutting edge technology concepts such as machine learning. So here is our topic, adapting malware to IT detection based on GAN. Uh, we will tell a story about uh, hide and seek. Uh, first, we will, we will um, this, this is the first part of our story. The art of hunting, the method we use to detect malware. Uh, we have two ways to detect malware, stat static analysis and uh, dynamic analysis. The, the first uh, 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 the first method method ahead of your mind is the signature based on by patterns. The, on the uh, right side is uh, use the uh, malware name and it, and the orange orange color is the bad pattern. Mm. And uh, uh, next is uh, hash. Uh, the third way is the uh, Paris six, and uh, it's a set a uh, set a of rules, and uh, it's a more uh, flexible way to detect the malware. Uh, dynamic dynamic analysis. Uh, we always put the uh, malware to the sand, uh, sandbox or the virtual machine and uh, analyzing the software in motion. But it has some shortcoming. Uh, it's slow uh, com compared to the uh, static analysis. It's too slow and uh, it's easy to detect the virtual, uh, virtual environment by the malware. And uh, uh, specifically uh, for the malware, they need some uh, in input program. Uh, it's difficult to simulate, uh, simulate that. So how, uh, <coughs> uh, how much time does the antivirus product to detect a new malware? Uh, here is an example. The most famous malware last year, WannaCry. Uh, in the uh, 12, uh, 25 a.m., just the six, six, uh, 16 uh, antivirus products can detect it. Uh, and uh, nine hours later, just uh, 16 more antivirus, uh, antivirus products product can detect it. Uh, uh, thousands, during the nine hour, thousands and uh, thousands of computers infected with the wanna cry. So, uh, so some technology to uh, bypass the detection of the uh, uh, antivirus product. There are two ways to uh, bypass the detection of the uh, antivirus pro product. Just uh, uh, 
change the signature and the height of the signature. Uh, we use the CCL or the MSCL to slice the file into pieces. And we can find the, uh, which pieces have, have the signature. Uh, if we can't find the signature, we can just hide the signature. Pack with packer or use the polymorphic, metamorphic or fusion. Almost 60% uh, 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 malware are packed in our uh, monitor. monitor. Here's an example of the polymorphic uh, malware, parrot. Uh, it, 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 this two code is the same uh, malware, the parrot. It's the uh, same malware, same function, but the same different code yeah. and uh, how to uh, find the signature. And uh, if you can do this techn techn technique yourself, you can, <coughs> you can find the, uh, the anti antivirus service anywhere. Uh, on the dark net, you can buy a diamond box, uh, $370. And in China, on the ground, uh, about $260, you can buy the service. So, uh, it's a problem, a big problem uh, for the antivirus product, but uh, no way. Uh, um, more and more antivirus products claim to embed the machine learning in their product line. But why? Uh, because uh, the machine learning uh, can, uh, uh, can produce the uh, big data and uh, for uh, sometimes uh, for, the, for this example two, even two features uh, for the hand rule hand writing rules it's difficult to write the rules but for the uh, machine learning it's easy to find the boundary here uh, here's the, uh, two examples uh, of our laboratory to detect malware with uh, machine learning. Uh, here is uh, uh, three polymorphic uh, malware, a uh, three family of po polymorphic mal malware, parrot, varrot, and uh, the sanity. Uh, we, we return the malware directly to the uh, malware image. Uh, and we can tell, the, um, we can easily tell the difference be between the uh, the, this man, uh, image and uh, the difference between the uh, malware family. So <coughs> this is our project. Proceed. Uh, we turn the malware to image, and then you use CNN to detect the image, and uh, then we can detect the malware. And it's easy and it's convenient. And uh, the second way is the uh, structure entropy, uh, because the packed uh, malware and the uh, metamorphic malware is a big problem for the antivirus <coughs> anti product. Uh, for this example, the uh, blue line is the original file. It is the structure entropy of the uh, original file. And the green line is the uh, structure entropy of the packed uh, pack, pack, uh, uh, file. So can, we can easily tell the difference between the, pack, the different packet of file. We can even not to unpack them. We can tell the difference. So machine learning has some advantage to the traditional way to detect the malware. Uh, the traditional way on detecting the known threats, uh, rely on known rules, but uh, uh, machine learning can do it uh, automatically, automatically and uh, have um, hundreds, hundreds and thousands of features uh, and uh, easy to detect uh, the new malware and uh, not easy to bypass. But, uh, but uh, it's not, not readable, the answer is no. Uh, <coughs> we, 
we use the machine to beat the machine. So we our method is the gang. <coughs> Here is the generative uh, adversarial networks. Uh, here is the main image of Kata and uh, and some specific uh, noise and uh, the classifier is confused and uh, recognize the it and uh, given <coughs> because the machine learning models uh, uh, always has the uh, overfitting problem it has the uh, blind spots <coughs> another exam the <coughs> example we just change one pixel of the, the picture it uh, can affect the uh, <coughs> the model. The, <coughs> uh, this is a frog. After change one pixel here, uh, it uh, fall, it turn to the cat. But it's difficult to apply this technique to the uh, malware generation. For this uh, <coughs> image. Uh, for the image, we add some noise. It is still an image. We can uh, the game can tell the tell us to change which which pixel, how to change the pixel, and we can it is still an image. But the, we change the bytes and the structure in the uh, PE file. It will be a broken file. It, it can cannot run. Uh, here is some. Jobs, uh, uh, pre previous work uh, uh, by the uh, capturing, uh, they did a great interface attacks uh, to the vocal. Uh, <coughs> but the, uh, the but the attackers requires no uh, requires full knowledge of the model structure and weights. But uh, most of the time, attackers have no access to the architecture and the ways of the neural network to be attacked. And the second way, uh, the, the second way is the substitute the neural network attacks. Attacks, attacker can feed the black box neural network and the, the attacker can attack other machine learning algorithm. If you don't know the models they use, the, the anti-products, the antivirus product they use, uh, if they use the li li uh, <coughs> uh, linear regression or the SVM or the neural network, uh, it's all, all the same. Uh, here is a job by Huawei uh, last year. They, they attacked the black box detector in the GAN method uh, algorithm, and uh, they can uh, they can be. They can down one epoch uh, the TBR from 100 to zero, but they assume the feature. Uh, the feature the machine uh, malware uh, detection algorithm use. They know have know these uh, features, but actually we we, uh, but, but actually we can uh, no no uh, no. The exactly feature the algorithm use. So our goal is the design machine learning process to change the boat and change the human. Uh, we plan to attend the brain box machine learning and uh, um, maybe bypass the malware analysis. Uh, here is an example. Uh, <coughs> we can see the. It's a static picture, but we can see the dot is moving. Uh, our human has the, 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 the same, has the blind spot. <coughs> uh, we, uh, we, we will camouflage uh, uh, malware to be a binar file with a high fidelity. Here is the P structure. Uh, the PE file has the header and the sections. The header, uh, for example, the P header, the dot header, for the section, it uh, have some data. For, for example, strings, imports, codes. 
Uh, here is the uh, architecture of our uh, benign malware gun. Our guy name name is uh, benign malware gun. The structure is um, almost like a normal gun structure, but the difference is the generator. Uh, we use the auto encoder as our generator. Uh, we train the uh, auto encoder with the deny file, and then we put the malware uh, into the decoder. It will generate the deny uh, like a, uh, like a deny file. Uh, you deny like a deny malware. Where we use the uh, auto encoder. Uh, uh, this image is generated by a, a deep fake. Uh, it's, uh, it's also an uh, autoencoder. Uh, in, 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 in this film, uh, we know the cage is not at this film, the Avengers, but here, uh, it's, a real, uh, it's, a, it, it's a fake pic picture. And the, the interview treated the human and uh, confused us. <coughs> the process of this technology is uh, uh, we train uh, the autoencoder with uh, uh, with uh, person A space, and uh, then we put the person B space to the decoder, where we have a, uh, we generate a face uh, of person B, but uh, the person B space is more like a, is like a person A space. So the, the, and the same, we use the, uh, <coughs> we train our generator with the benign file. Um, and then we put the, our, we, we put the malware and the random noise to the decoder. And uh, this is our generator, we will generate the benign like malware. Uh, for the malware, we will tear the malware apart, the strings, codes, imports, and header, and put the parts to the game, generate the new strings, new codes, and new imports, and new header. And we will recombination this parts to a new file, deny malware. Uh, and the result. Uh, we do some tests, and uh, this is uh, this is an example. The, for the on the cry, uh, 51 antivirus product can detect it, and now after the one epoch, uh, just six can detect uh, uh, the malware. Uh, uh, and the result we can see is the uh, uh, signature. Match the uh, it match the signature. Uh, but how we, how can we defeat uh, defeat this uh, attack? Uh, defeat this attack. We attack. Uh, you can attack your model to di discover the blind spot, and uh, you can fix it. And then uh, uh, and don't do, do not show the spot side. Uh, for example, for the uh, crowd strike token. Uh, e gambit uh, max. They show the uh, score outside. Uh, you can find find this score. You can find which which feature is uh, suitable. Uh, and the third way is to take a more stable signature. You can defend this attack. So thank you. I think I have a question. Oh, okay, yeah. you go ahead. Um, you said you trained the model with like the nine files to generate the code that overlay on it. Mm -hmm. um, did you just use like random files, or did you use like uh, Microsoft libraries, things like that, that seem benign? Uh, random file. <coughs> mm -hmm. Uh, even the we we use the for example we use the Microsoft file. Uh, it, it, it will compare it with the uh, Microsoft Microsoft file. It's a still a not abnormal file. Yeah. Uh, 
Did, and, you, did your generated file run? Did you do unit tests on them to make sure that they have all the test cases and they ran exactly like the original file? Like you, you changed them on a fry, so now it can't be detected. But does it do the same things now? I mean, does it do the exact same things, or have, have some, has something changed in its code? Is it that because, for example, right, if you change the wrong bit in there and it hits a incorrect web address, mm -hmm. right, then the file it's, it's going to be useless now because malware is not going to be able to hit its uh, command control interface and it's just going to go, okay, I can't do anything. I'm just going to sit here. And do uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we put we'll the combination by hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll by human to check the format. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So you run it in a sandbox to check the malicious behavior? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Yeah. And adding to that, so we also did some similar thing for the benign files you input to the discriminator so it looks like the benign those benign files I think can be random, right? Any benign files and not necessary to be because it's approximate the distribution, so it's benign file. And for the malicious one, well, actually, we did something like uh, if, uh, if you are generating on the binary code and you keep the ones and only change the zeros, so that it's kind of like you only add function but you don't delete things. Okay. So that presumably you will be able to preserve the malicious functions and behaviors. Yeah, but still need to check. Yeah. Did you, just a side question, did you guys try, I saw you used autoencoder, did you try a, um, any of the other GANs or did you just use the autoencoder? Like, I'm sure uh, training, training GANs has been like a mm -hmm. difficult endeavor for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I think he, he used GANs, not autoencoders, right? Hmm? You use GAN, not autoencoder, right? Yeah. Yeah, he used a generator and discriminator instead of the autoencoder, which is the encoder and decoder. Wasserstein GAN or just a regular uh, that, that I don't know. Wasserstein GAN? Or what kind of GAN you are using? Uh, uh. Um, I think um, one, my understanding is for GAN in image it's hard because it's very hard to generate high resolution images. But for the, um, like the malware, the binary case, um, it's relatively easy because you don't need to care about this uh, high resolution and uh, you know, realistic uh, features. But again, it is hard, but you can look at the generator and discriminator's loss and uh, I think, it, but yeah, but I don't know what kind of GAN you are using. But I think what the scan is better. Yeah. Questions? Mm, yeah, so, well, oh, okay. So, okay, let's thank the speaker again. Okay.